Welcome back to Weighing In. We're talking about the 170 pound weight class where two returning state runner-ups are back in action. That's Howell Shane Rietzma to Paul's Connor O'Neill. Joe, start us off with Shane Rietzma. You know, Shane Rietzma has been the uh, heart and soul of the Howell program for the last four years. He is a terrific kid. He's an outstanding wrestler. He'd been a little tight, a uh, little worried about that. He only won three to two in the region, but I think he's going to be motivated to the state tournament to get that final step. He is also in pursuit of the short conference all-time win, all win record held by Robbie Kennard of Wall. And I mean, Rietzma's staying in, in New Jersey, so people are going to get to see a lot of him. He's going to Ryder. Um, he's worked extra hard on his riding skills to be able to take 30, 40 seconds off the clock. So I, I, I think he's going to reach the final. The question is, who's he going to face? All right, well, the, the reason why we started with Rietzma and O'Neill is because they met at the Powerade tournament. Rietzma won 6-4. So obviously two big-time guys at the top there, O'Neill. State runner-up last year, 160. He's been as steady as it gets for DePaul, which you know obviously had a little bit of a down year, but O'Neill has been at the top no matter where he's been. He won the Beast of the East, so he's been sensational this year. And there are some other guys in the bracket that are heading to AC with zero losses. There's three undefeated guys in this bracket, Bill. Yeah, and they're, they're all from uh, you know programs that might not be the, uh, among the elite in the state. You got Jacob Vega from Carteret, Jacob Rodriguez from Clayton. Jack Burnick for, from Old Japan, you know, all, all good programs that, you know, maybe don't have that, that team success, but, you know, they've, they've shown that they can develop these guys that can contend for spots on the podium. And, and I think, you know, obviously, you know, maybe we, we don't consider these guys up there with Reitzman O'Neill, but nobody's beaten them yet. So I feel like they're going to find their spot in that top eight somewhere. All right. So whether they're undefeated or, you know, state runner ups coming back, we got to make our picks. So, Joe, who are you going with? I like Rietzma over O'Neill in the final bet. Uh, I'll, I'll double, I'll second that, Rietzma over O'Neill. All right, I'll kind of stay with the same, but change it up a little bit. I'll go with O'Neill over Rietzma, and those are our picks. We'll see you down at Boardwalk Hall.